Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Prime Minister of Ethiopia talked about AMOJU with Somaliland today at the parliament. He addressed Somalia. He addressed the president of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh. What did he say? Did he make fun of Hassan Sheikh? Hassan Sheikh's efforts to gain regional international support against Ethiopia. What did he say? Uh, and does his advice to Hassan Sheikh make uh, any sense? Secondly, are Tegaraya fighters entering Salamthi? We know that uh, IDPs are returning to their homes. More than 2,000 have returned so far, I think. Are there Tegaraya fighters too in the guise of uh, IDPs there? Uh, and Ethiopian journals spoke about that if you are. Firstly, viewers, uh, Ethiopia Somalia tensions issue unresolved. It began in January when Ethiopia signed a controversial memorandum of understanding with Somali land to gain access to sea through Somali land in return for recognizing Somali land as a country. Somalia called it a violation of its territorial integrity and sovereignty, vowing to stop it no matter what happens. Somalia signed a defense pact with Turkey to undermine Ethiopia, Somali land. And you lots of developments after that. And the latest development is that Ethiopia and Somalia held talks in Turkey. Turkey last week, uh, Turkey is mediating. The two could not reach an agreement, but they'll meet again in September, on the 2nd of September, again in Ankara. They are be uh, addressing the members of parliament today. Uh, talked about Somalia. He was giving a speech there, presenting his government's performance there. Uh, today, Ethiopian parliament approved a uh, budget for the next fiscal year. He spoke about his government's performance. He responded to questions from members of parliament, some tough questions, two or three. Uh, with regard to Somalia, uh, I think uh, he mocked the president of Somalia to some extent, I would say. It's not that he just uh, uh, humiliated him, but he mocked the president of Somalia. He said that uh, if Somalia has a problem with Ethiopia, if, if there is an issue, then just one hour flight from Somalia to Addis Ababa. Hassan Sheikh should have come to Ethiopia to talk to Abi, to the government of Ethiopia. The issue should have been resolved. Instead, he just went from country to country. To accuse Ethiopia, to tell lies about Ethiopia. Instead of spending on these travels abroad, he should have spent the money on building schools in Mogadishu. Well, uh, definitely he mocked the president of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh. Hassan Sheikh visited several countries in the past uh, six months. He visited Turkey too. Uh, obviously, he, he visited Eritrea too, by the way, twice, I think. They went to Egypt too. He wanted to get regional international support to form a joint regional international front against Ethiopia. Now, should Hassan Sheikh have visited Ethiopia to solve this issue? Somalia sees itself as a grieved party, as a facty. It, it is Ethiopia which stabbed in the back of uh, Somalia. Why should Hassan Sheikh visit Ethiopia? Does it make sense? It does not. He, uh, but I don't agree with Hassan Sheikh's policy to cut off all ties with Ethiopia. I criticized this policy in January. And now you're seeing Hassan Sheikh government is withdrawing. It is retreating from this policy. It is entering into talks with Ethiopia, it held talks with Ethiopia. It should have held talks with Ethiopia in January too. But in Abi's proposal that Hassan Sheikh should have come to Ethiopia, as if Ethiopia is uh, a global power and Somalia should have come uh, to this global leader of uh, Ethiopia, Pim Abi, to start negotiations, that does not make sense.
uh, having said that, I think the two should talk and negotiations should be had. But uh, Fim Abi's speech is indicative of how he treats the president of Somalia, a junior partner, a weaker country. Uh, and it's maybe because Ethiopian troops are protecting parts of Somalia. Jubal and Southwest states are opposing the withdrawal of Ethiopian troops from Somalia. They say the day Ethiopian troops start leaving, we heard from Bakul governor yesterday. He said the day Ethiopian troops start leaving Bakul region, Bakul zone of Somalia, Al Shabaab, ethnic militias will kill government and government people there. That is why Timabi had the confidence to tell Hassan Sheikh to come to Ethiopia, to take a one hour flight to come to Ethiopia to solve this issue. Second, we heard uh, Arctic Raya fighters entering Salamthi in the guise of IDPs because Amhara activists, Amhara sources are claiming that uh, TDF is entering Salamthi in the guise of uh, IDPs and TDF wants to take over Salamthi. And then Volgai too. Ekrar Dada is obviously, but a statement from an Ethiopian journal about this issue explains what is the situation. Birhano Bakele is Ethiopian National Defense Force journal. He's head of uh, North Gondar Command Post. So Salamthi also falls under his uh, area under his jurisdiction. He said that North Gondar uh, command post is monitoring, overseeing the return of IDPs to Salamthi. Everything is happening with dialogue, with consultation. Local elders are involved too. Only IDPs are returning to Salamthi. No Tegarai militant entered Salamthi. No Tegarai militant entered Volgai. If anyone is found uh, suspected of being member of TDF, etc., then locals verify that. He said locals, local community, Tegarai, uh, ID representatives, Tegarai government, ENDF, they have formed committees, they hold discussions, they have shared names of the IDPs who are returning uh, and through discussion issues are being solved. If uh, any militant tries to enter, uh, he or she is stopped. Verification is conducted. Then he said that both Tegarai and Amhara militants will have to leave the areas. This is part of the agreement. Two sides have agreed. They'll have to leave the area and interim uh, setup will be established. I think maybe he was talking about uh, Volkaith, maybe Salamthi too. Though in Raya things are different, their Tigray fighters are there. I told you about that. They, they have captured almost entire Raya, excluding uh, Alamata city, uh, where still the situation is volatile. But in Salamthi, Things are happening peacefully, and we don't have any information about the movement of Tegra fighters into the area. This is what was said by Birhano 